Uh, we've heard from a lot of folks, teachers, especially parents of special needs kids, who have said this film has given them a new vocabulary to talk about emotions for the first time. And that is nothing we were aiming for, but it is such an amazing byproduct of the movie, and we're, we're so thankful that we're able to contribute in that way. 60, and then we'll go to 182 uh -huh. in the back. Peter, Jonas, hello, Hi. congratulations. Hey! <laughs> uh, was here for help, please. Actually, to you, Jonas, uh, in this segment that has been viral about uh, how Latinos are these Oscars, your name came up. So how Latino do you feel? What is your connection with Latin America? Well, my, my grandfather came over, was, was born in Juarez, Mexico. Actually, his, his mother snuck him over to El Paso and, uh, when he was born. And so, yeah, my, my, my house was like I Love Lucy when I was a kid. My mom is blonde hair, and my, my dad is of uh, Mexican heritage. And so to my family, and uh, this means everything, to have the name Rivera, I'm very proud of that. I wish I could say that in Spanish, but of course I grew up in an era where I didn't learn Spanish, so I'm embarrassed for that. But very proud of my family, of my heritage, and of my papa. Thank you. We're going to 182, and then we'll come down to 229. Guys, congratulations. Thank you. Um, this film took years to make. You wrote and rewrote and rewrote and redesigned for years before you ever even really got into principal production. Can you share a little bit about the torturous path <laughs> that you took to finally get this film onto the screen? Uh, torture, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good way to say it. It is. Except it's not. I mean, it is a torturous path in that it was a big hunk of life. And obviously the writing, you can speak to that, but we love our process and our team so much that in a weird way, this is sort of a heartbreaker because it's over. This movie is finally done and we're on to next things at Pixar and, and, and we love it. But yes, it was a long road, which you should speak to. I mean, I think that when you see a movie, you kind of feel like, well, of course that's what anger looks like or that's how memory works. But uh, there were many, many, many attempts to make that visual, to make it clear. This movie, you know, it, we talked to scientists who said, Possibly the most complex thing in the known universe is the human mind. And we were like, oh, we just decided to make a movie about that. <laughs> How are we going to simplify this so that we understand it, for one, uh, kids understand it, and even more difficult, executives understand it? So we had to really make sure things were simple and clear. And I'm joking, of course. We had am amazing uh, folks that collaborated with us and... Uh, uh, at Disney uh, and, and at Pixar as well. Yeah. But it was a long process of rewriting that uh, took three right. and a half years. But we'd screen it for, you know, scientists and, and, and the people we'd work with, and then we'd screen it for my kids. And we'd sort of aggregate those notes in a weird way, just to see, like, is it, is it sort of pleasing both parties? <laughs> that sounds strange, but that's kind of what, what happened. Yeah. We're going to 229 and then 37, which will be our last. Yes, oh, no. hi, guys. Hi. 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 We met in Cairn, remember? And we do. Yes. Um, and, um, <laughs> and it's been quite a journey for you guys. So can you please tell us what was the most memorable comment you got on the way to the Oscars or the most memorable criticism or hmm. the most well, memorable comment? Or so what? I have a Q1. Okay. Mine was, I have to say, mine was, uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, NWA and Ice Cube, and we were lucky enough, this is so name droppy, but here we are, uh, we were lucky enough to sit next to them uh, straight out of Compton table at one of these things, and I got to meet Ice Cube, and I introduced myself as the producer of Inside Out, not knowing what I'd get, and he said, oh man, that movie's dope. <laughs> and I gotta be honest with you, that was a pretty good moment for me. <laughs> I think for me, I've gotten uh, a, a letter from a woman who said her daughter, who had special needs, uh, was able to talk for the first time about how she felt uh, thanks to this film, and that was that was amazing. Okay. Now mine's even more name droppy. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll wrap up with 37. All right. Oh, hello. Hi, uh, Ryan with AP. Um, I think you both talked about how your kids have been, you know, inspired this film. Can you, you know, recap how how? inspirational that was, and have you had a chance to talk to them, you know, since you won? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, uh, so my daughter was, when we first started the film, we came in with this idea, I came in with this idea of, about using emotions as characters, and my daughter was about 11. She's going through a big change at that point from goofy little funny kid to being a little more serious, a little more kind of, you know, the way we all do. And uh, I was thinking, what's going on inside of her head? And that's really what sparked the concept for the film, 
everyone, Jonas has younger children, Ronnie Del Carmen has older kids. Everyone seemed to understand what we were talking about, and this is a very difficult time. I, we went through it growing up, and we tried to, if I said anything up on the podium, I was trying to talk about uh, the difficulty of growing up and how um, emotions are completely sometimes mysterious and, and uh, you can't under quite, quite understand what's going on. So it was really that that drove the, the making of the film. Sorry, I'm starting to blab, so shut me up. No, it's good. We love it. I love it. I'm very <laughs> proud of it. You love it. They it's a, it's really a reflection of our kids. We're very proud of it. So thank you all for uh, having us here tonight.